and Joel, and welcome to Keep Your Enemies Close, the show where best friends get to take part in some awesome challenges. But not all the challenges will be alongside each other. Oh, no. They'll be ruthlessly mixed up and forced to play alongside their enemies. Could you turn your enemy into a frenemy? Let's meet the four pairs of best friends who are willing to do just that and put their friendship on the line. They're all in the mixer. First up are Hannah and Ellie from Tamworth. Strathen and Francis from Southall. Then it's Zane and Glenn from Leeds. And finally, Sarah and Megan from Belfast. But what makes these guys such good friends? Oh, my name's Hannah. And my name's Ellie. <laughs> and we are 12 and we're, we're from, from Tamworth. Tamworth. Me and Hannah do loads of things together, like hair and makeup, shopping, taking photos, <laughs> netball. We like play for Tamworth. We're like really good. But we haven't won anything. <laughs> Ellie, you've got the annoying laugh ever. Honestly, you're like, oh, I'm really loud and right. Uh, yeah, but you, you do burp a lot. <laughs> 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 you can't just hold it in like a proper lady. We, we are, are the best, best and, and we're, we're going to win today. today. His name is Chauvin and his name is Francis and we're from Southall. We've been best friends for five years and since you're three and his bad habits to train his bedroom like a dustbin. That's not true. Is true? Yeah, it is. OK, it's a bit true. Uh, his bad habit is is a lot competitive when we're playing a game? Yeah, that's true. We're the best for the silvers and we're gonna win tonight. Proper. Wait. He's Zane. And this is Glenn. We're both 12. And uh, we come from Leeds. Glenn likes rock music. And he likes skateboarding. His real bad habits are picking his nose and flicking him. Zane likes football, cricket, and basketball. But uh, his bad habits are uh, he always farts. And it's disgusting. We may have bad habits, but, but we're best mates. Hi, this is Megan and this is Sarah. Megan's 11 and Sarah's 11. And we're both from Belfast. We like doing lots of things together, like going to each other's houses, playing our games consoles, going to the park, cycling. Megan has two bad habits. One is that she tickles me often. <laughs> <laughs> and she throws her clothes around. <laughs> Sarah's bad habit is if you say something is nice or not nice, she will go, Sue's your face. Oh, that camera's cool. Sue's your face. Mm. Bye. Well, they seem like a lovely bunch, but they better not get too comfortable in each other's company, because very soon the mix will be up to its old tricks and wrenching them apart, but more of that later. It's now time to put the best friends through their first and possibly last challenge they'll face together. Here, they'll not only gain a psychological advantage, but they'll also gain a unique reward. This, the hand of friendship. And if any of the best friends get to the final, that could be the difference between winning and losing. But who will win the hand of friendship? Let's find out as we play this. Tube Strike. This is Tube Strike. Here you'll be able to see just how well you best friends work together as you're in some oversized balloons and you have to navigate across some pretty tricky terrain. They'll start in one corner, then roll to the opposite corner, flip up their tube and try and dislodge their teen colored target. Only once that's hit the ground can they then roll back into the middle flip up their tube once more and try and burst the one and only big red winning balloon. A big bang here will mean a big victory, plus the hand of friendship. But what route will the best friends go for? A short route or a very, very clever route? There's only one way to find out. Keep your friends close. There's a melee in the middle with the silvers, purples and pinks. But hang on, Hannah and Ellie in the blues are sneaking round the outside. The tactic is working a dream. Near miss and blues. Pinks take a tumble.
Silvers and Blues have both knocked down their targets. It's a sprint to the finish. Well done! Hannah and Ellie, let's take a look at your victorious oh, no. moment one more time. Hannah and Ellie hung back at the start and gave themselves a clear run around the outside to hit their targets. A final flip and a big bang. That was very successful. Because you weren't necessarily trying to go the quickest, but you were really effective. Did you have a tactic? Um, I like go, like watch what they do first and then go and do the opposite of them. That was an extremely canny <laughs> tactic. That is clever. And you've won this. Now, this is the hand of friendship. Now, this could be the difference between winning and losing if, and it is a big if at this stage, you make it to the final very soon. The best friends we be playing against each other. But the rules of keep your enemies close are simple. Before each challenge, the mixer will mix up the best friends to create new pairs of frenemies, two people who don't know each other. The frenemies will have to put any differences aside and work together in order to win. After each challenge, the losing pair will be eliminated and sent back to the mixer and locked down. So four pairs become three, then three become two, until only one pair remain. The winning pair of frenemies split and release their best friends from lockdown. Reunited, they will face the final to win. Keep your enemies close. So, even if one best friend gets eliminated, it's not over because your other best friend can win and win and win, and then eventually, if all goes well, get you back in the final. But to get that far, they're going to have to work closely with some enemies. So, it's time to mix it up. First pair of frenemies out the mixer is Sarah and Hannah. And next up is Ellie and Francis. Next up out the mixer is Shravin and Glenn. And finally, it is Zane and Megan. So the mixer has been at work. They may be enemies, but now we'll have to learn to be frenemies. Now let's meet our first pair of frenemies. We've got Sarah and Hannah. Now Sarah describes herself as very competitive, which is good in a game show scenario. Whereas Hannah, well, she reckons she's weird and funny. I know a few people like that, and they're very successful. So they could be a really good pairing. And then we've got Ellie and Francis. Now if Ellie could be a celebrity for a day, She'd be Miley Cyrus. Interesting, because she can uh, act, dance, sing, and play the guitar. Francis would be like Ben Stiller, because he's funny, which is just like Francis. So they're going to have an all singing, all dancing, funny duo. So then we've got Shravan and Glenn. Now, winning is everything for Shravan. He must win. Whereas Glenn, it's all about taking part, because Shravan's competitiveness drives Glenn to fear. We'll find out. And finally, we've got Zane and Megan. Now, Zane thinks girls talk way too much. However, Megan thinks boys watch way too much wrestling on TV. Do they? OK, well, I hope they can all put their differences aside, because one pair of frenemies will be eliminated as we play this. Thwackapult. This is Thwackapult. Here, the frenemies will use these massive catapults, load them up with tennis balls, and fire their frenemy coloured target. For example, Zane and Megan are on a blue catapult, and they'll be striking down their blue panels. It's got to be either a hole or completely broken. A crack is not enough. Now, you're going to have to work together here, because accuracy is paramount. Because if you strike down and thwack your opponent's colour, then you're helping your enemy. The aim is to keep your enemies close, not to encourage them to win. Remember, the last pair of frenemies that thwack their panels will be eliminated. Frenemies, I bid you good luck. And remember, to keep your enemies close. Frenemies are standing on colour platforms that match the colour of the panels they're trying to break. That's a great shot, Zane. Zane and Megan have to make three blue panels. Zane and Megan have got their eye here, they've already got one. Silver down and a purple. 
Good shot from Sarah. Give me one, give me one. Quick, quick, quick. Quick, quick one, quick one. Yeah. Glenn and Sharvan have hit their second silver. Yeah. Sharvan's got an amazing Roll technique on. there. He's getting literally right down and dirty. Come on, Glenn. Zayn and Megan have got one left. That counts. Francis and Ellie have just nicked a pink panel. That counts. Oh. Accuracy and power. Three blue panels broken. Wait, wait, wait. They smashed their second purple panel and looks like Shavran smashed the last one for them. Wrong way. Ah, yes! And right at the end there, which means that Francis and Ellie, yes! let's have a look. Shavran and Glenn thwack their last silver panel and are through, but one pink remains. All right, successful Fredbees. If you'd like to thwack up out your way back to the old uh, mixer there, that'd be good. But Francis and Ellie, it's blame game. Ellie, what, what, what did Francis do wrong? Wasn't pulling it far enough. You weren't pulling it far enough back. What did you say to that, Francis? I had the same thing. You weren't pulling it far back enough. So at the moment, it means you're headed for elimination. You've got to rely on your best friends to win you back. Have they got the ability, the strength, the prowess to do it? Yeah. Yeah. Good, positive. But for the moment, you are headed to lockdown. Lockdown. Ellie, unfortunately, it's lights out with lockdown. <laughs> Francis, for you, it's lights out and lockdown. Only six players remain. I think it's time to crank it up. The first pair of frenemies are chosen by the mixer is Zane and Hannah. And then it's Sarah and Glenn. And finally, it's Shravan and Megan. So Ellie and Francis will reside in lockdown unless they're best friends and can win them back in time for the final. But the mixer has been up to his old tricks again, creating a new frenemy pairings. Let's have a look at what we've got here. So we've got Hannah and Zane. Now, if Hannah could have a superpower, it'd be the power of invisibility, a sneak air. Whereas Zane's power would be the power to heal. That is a lovely superpower. So for me, this shows that Zane is maybe sensitive, whereas Hannah is sneaky. Interesting. Then we've got Sarah and Glenn. Now, if Sarah was marooned on a desert island, she would take shoes. However, Glenn would take a laptop so he could email for help. That's pretty practical there. And finally, we've got Megan and Shravin. Now, Shravin is only petrified by one thing, snakes. And Megan is scared of heights and bugs and also big slides. One minute, that's a massive slide right there. So I think she's proven to be quite brave but we'll be brave enough to take out our next game, which is this. U-Cube. This is U-Cube. Here is half a cube. And over here are three giant pieces that complete the cube. Now, frenemies, you're gonna have to work together using speed and also communication, as these pieces are very ungainly and they're hard to pick up. The last pair of frenemies to complete the cube will be eliminated. I bid you good luck. Keep your enemies close. The secret is to slot the side pieces in first. It's an interesting start by all the teams here. Shravan keeps trying to fill the cube as opposed to the middle. It's not working. Zane and Hannah are going for a very colourful tower. They're getting closer. They need to start thinking now. 
Sarah and Glenn have almost got it. They're literally one piece away. Push that down a bit. Hold on, let me just try. Just a pink piece to start in for Sarah. You, you UQ. UQ from Sarah and Glenn there. So now these doesn't completely dismantle their shapes. They start from scratch. Interesting and brave technique. Oh, OK. Zaylen had on their last bit, but they're literally trying to jam it in there. No, turn it round a bit. You yellow, you're reading in properly, you're reading in properly. It's going to be a race against the last bit. Best friends are allowed to verbally help, but not touch. Charlie is just going crazy. He's trying to push it down. Yeah, He's going to like, sure slam like, dunking it. Well, it what? It's done it. It's not that way. Right. That bit right. of right. like that. No, listen. Right, now turn Glenn it. Glenn is really helping. Yeah, Shrub is getting quite upset about it. This yeah, is, I've never seen anything like this on the show. <laughs> you! Yeah. you. Look at the replay! Sarah and Glenn got you cube first. Shavrin and Megan finally squeezed the last piece to finish second, leaving Zane and Hannah frustrated. Do you blame each other at all? Do you blame yeah. each other? No. It's, like, it's like both of our faults, really, because we're both trying to get it in at the same time. It's like not work. Just come over here a minute. Let's come over here. Let's just have a oh. look. Now, let's have a look. That was the piece that got you. You just couldn't quite get it in. You've been through so much now. Do you feel upset? A little, because like, I've let my best mate down. You've not let her down. You didn't need... I mean, it was just... Oh. It, don't worry, you did so well, but you have been eliminated. But, Zane, for you, you headed to lockdown with a chance of getting to the final. Do you think your best mate can do it? Can you win your yeah. back? Yeah. Come on, Glenn, you can do it! OK, well, it's getting very tense here, but for the moment, it's headed to lockdown. So, Zane, it's lights out and lockdown. So, Hannah, unfortunately, we won't see the hand of friendship in the final lead. This is lights out for the hand of friendship. And also, we won't see you or Ellie again. So it's lights out and locked down permanently. Only four players remain. It's time to crank it up. First up out the mixer is Glenn and Megan. And they'll be facing Sarah and Shravin. So Ellie and Hannah have been eliminated permanently, but Francis and Zane will be relying on their best friends to win them back in the final. But what frenemies has the mixer created? So we've got Glenn and Megan. Now, Glenn thinks that taking part is the most important thing. Megan thinks that winning is everything. But will they be competitive enough to take it out in the final? Sarah? and Shravan. Now, Sarah thinks boys are way too loud. Pardon? Why? Why are we loud? So that's a really annoying thing that I do to my sister. Whereas Shravan thinks girls, and I quote, are the worst. They need to put their differences aside, because one pair of frenemies will be eliminated as we play this. Radio Control Eruption. This is a Radio Control Eruption. The radio control bit is the cars, and the eruption will be that bottle over there. Here, the frenemies have to navigate the course, and the first pair to activate the eruption wins. The frenemies have only one remote control between two. So one frenemy will be navigating the car forwards and backwards, and the other will be going left and right. So, for Sarah and Megan, you're in the final already. You're safe. But for Glenn and Traven, well, you better get your partner working hard. Megan and Glenn will be navigating the white car, and Shravan and Sarah, you'll be navigating the yellow car. Shravan Francis is screaming for you oh, to get him back it. into the final. As is Zane for you. Woo! There is, you just heard him. And remember to keep your enemies close. <laughs> Megan and Glenn's white car is off to a flyer. They're steaming ahead. The secret is slow and steady movements on the controller. Sarah and Shravin's yellow car is struggling on the ramp whilst Megan and Glenn's white car nears the finish. They need to negotiate the ramp. No margin for error. They've done it! OK! Congratulations, let's all get in. Let's all let's have a look at the replay. 
Megan and Glenn had a great start and never looked back. Steady and slow, won the race. Bang! Yes. Megan and Glenn, congratulations. So, Sarah, you can go and join your best friend over there. You look a bit disappointed. What's wrong? Oh, I, I feel like I've let them die. But you guys, congratulations. But for you, Shravan, unfortunately, it's elimination. And Francis, too. The best friends have been reunited. So, Zan and Glenn, what makes you two such a good pairing? We're both clever. You're I'm both sure. clever. OK, now, Megan and Sarah, you're back together. How's it feel? Feels mm. good. But it is time we played this. The final. OK, best friends, this is it. This is the final. On this grid are the words, keep your enemies close final. There are 15 different letters in those words. A letter will be lit up and a category will be given. You then have to give me two correct answers, starting with that letter from that category. For example, if the letter was C and the category was boy's name, your answers could be Colin or Callum. There's loads of different C's that you can come up with. You'll have five seconds to give me two correct answers. And this is the sound you'll hear when time is up. <coughs> two correct answers will send your enemy along that track, closer to those shoots. And those shoots are filled with slimy, disgusting, horrible clag. You really want to lag behind the clag. If you fail to give me two correct answers, then you yourself move along the track. Now, the aim is to get your enemies to that clag barrier right there, where the losers will be covered in horrible, slimy, disgusting stuff, where the winners will be bathing in a feeling of glory. Guys, do you understand the rules? OK, let's play the game. Glenn and Zane, are you ready for your first letter? Yeah. Here we go. Your first letter is... R, category, British town or city. Time starts now. Uh, Rodley. Rotherham. You gave me Rotherham and Rodley, but unfortunately, Rodley is a village. It's not a town or a city, which means it's incorrect, and you yourself move along the track. Close, but just not close enough. Right, Sarah and Megan, you ready for your letter? It is. S, category, animal or bird. Time starts now. Snake and star, no. <laughs> Unlucky, you could have had starfish. You only came up with one. You could have also shark or squid. You gave me snake, which means it's even Steven. So it's one. Incorrect answer each. Let's turn this around now. Boys, ready for your letter? Yeah. Here we go. Your letter is... F. Category. Food or drink. Time starts now. Fudge. French fries. Brilliant! Out! Literally in the last second there. Fudge and French fries just together. Revolting mixture. But in a quiz show, it's two brilliant answers. OK. Megan and Sarah, are you ready? You need to get this right. Here we go. Your letter is... M. Category. Band or pop star. Time starts now. Madonna and... Um, Miley Cyrus. Brilliant. Two correct answers. And Megan showing that she's a bit of a fan of the 80s there with Madonna. Brilliant. It's now back. Square, even. This is literally going right to the wire. Boys, ready for your letter? Yeah. It is. C, category, animal or bird. Time starts now. Cow, cat and crow. Cat and crow, two correct answers. Brilliant. He didn't even need a second there, which means Megan and Sarah heading ever closer to the clag. You ready for your letter? You need to get this right. Your letter is... E. Category. Country. Time starts now. England. Um, Espanol? Espanol is, unfortunately, the Spanish 
pronunciation, but you could have had Egypt or Ethiopia. So unlucky. Zane and Glenn, you ready for your next letter? Yeah. It is. A, your category, band or pop star. It's time starts now. Alphabet and, um... ACDC. Yes. That's good. That is brilliant. Two fantastic answers. <laughs> OK, here we go. Girls, you need to get this right, otherwise the boys have earned the right to send you into the clag. OK. Your letter is... L. Category. British town or city. Time starts now. Lancashire. Oh, that's the capital. Um, London and... Time's up. You gave me London. You could have had Leicester or Leeds or Liverpool. Ah! Which means the boys have earned the right to send you in. Boys, well done. Congratulations. Woo! Glenn and Zane, you've had a great game and you've earned the right to send the girls in. Do you want to say anything to your enemies? Yeah. Hard luck. Go in. OK. It's short but sweet. Send them in. Okay. Is there anything, anything you want to say to the boys at this point? I hate you. You don't mean it. You love them. Let's just have a look at that one more time. <laughs> Zane and Glenn, you played a great game. What was your highlight of today? Well, um, we was... liked the tube strike, didn't we? Tube strike here. Yeah. yeah. You did. You, I mean, you didn't win it, but you, you fought valiantly. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. It was fun. It was fun. And what about... Did you always think, we're going to win this? Yeah. yeah we came here to win. Really? That's why yeah. you came here? Yeah. Even when, even when Zane lost out in Newkeep, you thought, this is it, I'm still going to win? Yeah. Yeah, cos I knew that I was going to rescue him. I still believed in him. Well, guys, you've been really good and you've definitely proved that you are the best of friends and well-deserving of our solid silver Keep Your Enemies Close medallions. A right hand and a left hand make a winning pair. Congratulations. Well done. So remember to keep your enemies close, but your friends even closer. This is no ordinary sofa. This is the sofa of scariness. And all this week, no living room is safe. Things are going to get seriously scary around here. What? It can't be that serious. It's something new and exciting. Do I get a front row seat? Yeah, it's a bit if you don't ask. What can't wait. Sit down on your sofa of scariness well, this half term of horror, if you dare. All this week on CBBC. Spent two months.